Hey everyone, as you can see here, I'm opening up Scenario and Circle caches, which contain a number of different potions and elixirs, including the Restorative Potion, the Elixir of Giants, Arcane Elixir, Oil of Immolation, Elixir of Demon Slaying, Potion of Shadow Power and Frost Oil. These caches are very simple to obtain, so let's walk through how you do that. The first thing which should be mentioned is that this farm is more passive and can be done anywhere by anyone level 48 and above. In order to make this available to you, you first need to complete the quest Assist an Archdruid Rune Totem or Stagham, which can be accepted from the Innkeeper in any capital. You then complete the quest Unguru Soil, which requires you to turn in 20 Unguru Soil to either Janal and Darnassus or Bashana Rune Totem in Thunder Bluff. You will now receive the Evergreen Pouch and 20 packets of Tharlandris Seeds. The Evergreen Pouch allows you to consume one packet of seed and two Angora soil to create an Evergreen Herb Casing, which is on a 10 minute cooldown. These casings can contain a number of herbs, but the sought after item here is the Morrow Grains, which it can contain up to 5 of. The Morrow Grain seems to have about 40% drop rates, or 37% according to Wohad. I believe this to be more efficient if you're a herbalist with a certain skill, though I'm not sure. The Thurlandry seeds can be bought from Bashana or Janal, and the soils can be bought on the Action House or farmed in Ungura Crater. The Morrow Grain can either be sold on the Auction House, going for about 45 silver a flower, or be turned in in stacks of 10 to Bashana or Janar. Doing so will provide you with a Scenarian Circle Cache, which contains a variety of potions, scrolls and foods. A cache can contain up to 12 different items. This repeatable quest is also a way to raise your reputation with either Thunderbluff or Darnassus. A decent cache will give you about 4 to 5 gold, and I'd say about 2 caches per hour is reasonable, but you can get the double that with some luck. You can either sell the Morrow Grain or turn it in. Two caches worth of Morrow Grain sell for about 7 to 8 gold on the auction house. Note that some of the other flowers you get in the evergreen herb casings are worth some silver as well. So, meanwhile you only get maybe 10 gold per hour, you only have to do a total of one minute of work. That is, creating the evergreen pouch once every 10 minutes, which takes 10 seconds at a time. You can then just store them in your bag and turn them in whenever you have some other business in Thunderbluff or Darnassus. So you can do this regardless of what else you're currently doing, be it raiding, dungeons or doing other active gold farms and so on. I have been a bit worried that someone will believe I'm hearthstoning when creating the herb case and kick me believing I'm bailing out of the dungeon. But so far, no accidents. Well, that's all I had for this video. Make sure to start doing this farm whenever you can, for reputation, gold and potions. There is really no reason not to do it. With all that said, hope you found this useful. Like if you enjoyed and subscribe for more.